Hey guys, welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between a path and the actual object itself. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to start with the square tool. If I draw a square, just a normal square, then if I go and drag this circle, I can radius the edges. If I wanted to add even a little bit of a curve onto it, I could do that. But right now, this is not a path, so I can do that, because it is a square. Now, once I go to Path, Object Path, I can't do that anymore. If I go to the Square Tool, I can't edit that anymore, because it's not a path. So, let's delete that, and create a star. Now, right now I can change the corners of a star. I can change the depth of how far they go in and out. I can change like everything about the star. Oops. But we can just turn it. But right now it is not a path. It is the object. So I can add as many stuff as I want to it in the tool. But as soon as I go to path, object to path, it turns into a path and you can't edit it anymore with that tool. To edit it, you have to go into the node tool. And now, see if I zoom in on the nodes, each one of these now has a separate node. So, now I can edit each one of these individually. So as you can see, that there, there definitely is pros and cons both of them. Let's get rid of this. Same thing with the text tool. If you are typing something, if you type something, I can edit it, change the font, do whatever I want with it, you know, change it, bold, italic, bold, all those different things, change the font size, you know, center line, change the spacing in between it, stuff like that. Even change, like, kind of like curvature. You can even do that. But, once I select it and do path, object to path, you can't change that anymore with the text tool. It is not, you can't, it's just not something you can edit with the text tool because now it's an object. So, the way to edit it now would be going to the node tool, and now I can totally edit the nodes exactly to how I want it. So if I wanted to decrease the curve a little bit, then I can round it up, do stuff like that, and totally change the shape if I wanted. I wouldn't normally be able to do that if it's an object, but if I do the same thing over here, This, I, if I go into the node tool, I, I can't do anything to it. But since I did object to path on this, now I can edit it with the uh, node tool. So, that is just a quick lesson on what object to path and path are. They're very useful. And now that's just kind of a quick understanding of what they are and how they work. So, I hope this video was useful. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.